my G said this message might make some people unsubscribe. I don't know what the message contains. We're going to let the cars fall is what they said. These are messages from those other guides. You know, we got those ancestors of the highest white light. And we have those ancestors who own 10, as my card says, own 10. Those the ones who dove in them graves, mixed up them potions. Yeah. These the ancestors who dibbled and dabbled in the magic, you know. They started off to protect their family. And as the story goes... They ended up being great sorcerers, is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Great sorcerers. These ancestors, they out for revenge. And these ancestors, the ones that they, they, they promise they're going to avenge something in your name. They have hobnobbed with those ancestors of those people who have gone against you. Who was told who, what type of time this was when it come to you. Touch not the anointing of my chosen one, right? You was chosen by all these ancestors. Oh, yeah, you were. They want you to stop right now and think, <clears throat> excuse me, about a lucky streak. Some Someone's name could be lucky. Somebody is going vegan. I'm seeing someone is, veget is a vegetarian, but they're thinking about going vegan. And we have some carnivores who are <laughs> some meat eaters. They got to have meat, meat and potatoes, no vegetables. They're about to have to correct and tailor a diet for their health. So listen. This message is going to contain some information when it comes to those people in your family, people that they connected with, you know, who got that fucked up gene is what the Jesus is saying. It was a amount that was requested, sugar book. That's what the G said, and it was a withdrawal. It's a sequence in numbers, just like a bank statement. And it's a balance that's due. Somebody is terminally, terminally, terminally ill. Don't go. I feel the time is right. Cause my love for you has blown up. Yeah. Something about to blow up. Again, that's what the Jesus said. Somebody, you know, on occasions, they they could um, have blow-up dials in the bed with them. Or that could just be, you know, somebody who is lifeless in the bed with them. Lifeless, that's what the Jesus is saying. Wow. So, somebody may wake up and roll over. Mm-hmm. Brand new shoes. Brand new shoes. Might brought bought some um some new heels. Nice pair of heels. And it's almost like to dance on somebody's grave. You hear me? It's almost like to dance on somebody's grave. They waiting to they waiting on somebody to expire. Waiting anxiously and patiently is what the Jesus is saying. Haunting memories, too. These heels. Something about these heels, man. You know, sometimes you walk on, you walk in some stilettos, you walk across a parking lot, the smallest pebble will bring you to your motherfucking knees, goddammit. Ouch! Take that, how it resonate around this motherfucker. It's what the Jesus is saying. Ouch. Ouch. You know, like some of those Picasso paintings look like they hurting. Mm-hmm. 
G said, we getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. We getting somewhere because we got potential around here. Just some useful information that's been haunting the memories of those people who have, you know, done all this darkness. It's coming to the light. It's coming to the light. Y'all know what I'm here to do. I'm here to get you hip to what you hip to and hip you on to what may be hidden. These here is what your ancestors said is the actual facts. See, because they told, they told them, these, these, oh, these family members and these people you connected to, they got some spiritual capabilities around here. They got spiritual abilities is what the Jesus said. They know who you are. They know who you are. Somebody rocking side to side. Sad to sad, it's like they anxious about something. You hear me? They anxious. They anxious about if you gonna be able to uh succeed or not. Somebody wants you to get lost. You hear me? They want you to get lost. There is about to be a loss, but it's 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 gonna it's gonna be a big change. In my soul gang's life, you know, this message ain't for the week is what I'm hearing. It's going to be a big change in, in my soul gang's life because these are the main conspirators, the major contributors. Mm -hmm. They even, you know, it's like I, I heard something about a cauldron, right? That's that's old terms for, you know, some witchery and warlock. Um, yeah. Some, 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 isn't that like, like a stone or something? Is that like an altar? Is that like a, a place? Because that's, that's why I'm seeing these people and they look like, you know, I keep thinking about angel and supernatural, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, I keep thinking about angel and supernatural. Let me show you where I cut it at. So, you know, they sat around the old heads and, you know, got all the good stories, the juicy gossip, you know what I'm saying? They, um, you can, you can uh, put it in the mind of like first generation, second generation, third generation, you know, they came before you is what I'm hearing. So they know a lot of the family secrets, you know, some that didn't, you know, trickle down to your generation is what I'm hearing. You have somebody who has been wanting control of your destiny for quite a long time. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who possesses the strength to be um, a ruler of nations is what I'm hearing. And that's what they want. You know, it's something about some insurance, too. You hear me? Some insurance. Somebody is waiting for somebody to expire so they can go in and get this insurance check is what I'm hearing. Yeah. See, it's a lot that's been private. With these people. Some of them out west. Somebody was born in March. It's, it's, it's your family's tradition. And you may not even be hip to it, right? I'm hearing that you was chosen to break generational curses. You were. You were chosen... It's like you're your prima team miss. You breathing life into um, a, a, a new traditional value in your family. Is what I'm hearing. Because it's a lot that's one-sided. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday love is what I just heard. Saturday love. Something could have happened yesterday. Something going on in honor of you, though. This is, this is some get back. This is some get back. Your ancestors want they lick back. I'm hearing there's been some confusion when it comes to you tapping into your intuition. You know, those gems that, you know, that 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 department in your um in your spiritual lens, your spiritual view that, you know, is full of all the merchandise. You know, you already tapped into, you know, some of those areas. But I'm hearing, you know, the confusion came from whether or not you were to follow what it was that you knew because of some trickster energies. Right. Somebody's trying to bind you.
But your ancestors don't want you to quit doing what it is that you're doing. You put you you on your soul's mission. You a part you a part of this mission that they began. You hear me? That they began. Air sign dealing with the earth sign. You know these are family members. You know you probably not connected with them, but they are part of your family. You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Tauruses, Virgos, and Capricorns, or that could be you. You hear me? Or that could be you. The finish line. They don't want you to get there. It's like you know. It's what it's what you've been learning and what you've been gathering on your spiritual journey is what I'm hearing, and what's been building up within you. It's a surprise for you. It's a surprise for you. It's like you know. I'm seeing a ball of light. Like somebody impregnated with a ball of light. This light is nothing but ancient, esoteric, multidimensional knowledge. Galactic is what the G's are saying. You almost at the finish line. Almost. Thinking about it, huh? Gas station. Gemini, air sign, connecting, involved with the earth sign, thinking about having sex with this person. And this Gemini, last person you had sex with, you thought about it and, you know, went and, and, and tried your hand is what I'm hearing. Tried your hand. They tried you. It was some mutual attraction. But it's what's being looked into by spirit right now. No conception, right? No conception. No conception. No seed was planted. Male cousin. This is your male cousin who was against you. Your male cousin... I'm hearing is a Gemini. The last person that you had sex with is also a Gemini. Some of my queens conceived. But some, you know, it just, you know, wasn't meant to be with that person at this present point in time. It's a divine point in time for everything. And Jesus saying, Right now is the time for you to know who been stealing. Who been stealing. That, you know, and you, you, somebody got a big ball of light is what I said, right? Big ball of light. Are you shaving your belly? Some man shaved his, shaved his, um, his area down there. And it is, you know... Let's take a moment, tell our Heavenly Creator, thank you, you know, and give him some praise, you know, and, and make sure that we're doing that throughout the day because it's some praise to be in order right here. I, I feel like it's this is some congratulations, you know. Can't nobody do nothing unless Most High says yes. You hear me? Can't nobody do nothing unless Most High say yes. Hmm. They was trying to get away. Somebody was trying to get away and they sprung something. I'm, I'm looking at somebody. I'm looking at a man um, biting the dust because he twisted his ankle. Mm hmm. Because he twisted his ankle. It's a twist and turn to this, though. Because whoever this is, they shave their. um their pubic hairs to make themselves look, you know, more manly and presentable down there and large and in charge. Um, yeah. Mm. And this is a big time drug dealer. 
<laughs> I just heard somebody had to keep a man baby. Whoever this woman is didn't, you know, think for a moment in time that this man would be a deadbeat, right? So, this woman, mm, you never know who you deal with and who they praying to. But most high in control, though. You hear me? Most high is in control. Somebody been most definitely operating out of both um, draw legs. You know, they have. They've been operating out of both draw legs. But I'm hearing... It was a way. It was in the way. This photo. It was in the way. So, this photo that was in the way, I'm hearing, was somebody else. Somebody, <laughs> somebody was masturbating to somebody's photo, and... I'm hearing they were at work. Somebody can, couldn't wait till they got home either. It could be somebody that you work with as well. They was trying to do sex magic, but it was two people on the, um, on the picture. It was two people on the picture. Mm. Where is it going? I said get the job card. Somebody could work at a bar. That's where they met this man. Why? Because he had a nice car. He was in there, you know, buying a dang on um, bar. And he was going to be a, um, a loving father. And he would value um, him being a parent. Again, somebody, you know, was trying to have a... Um, Keep a man, baby. I feel like somebody, one of my queens, you know, just now starting to step in to the energy of knowing that she is worthy of much more. Yeah, look, promotion from within. <laughs> yeah, investing in herself, loving on herself, you know, and, and taking care of this kid. But what's this dad be? You know, yeah, I feel like, you know, something took place at work. Something took place at work. See that? Somebody could work at a gas station. I feel like, you know, something is going on when it comes to um, co-workers. It could be co-workers who are involved with one another on the low is what I'm hearing. It's something when it comes to, you know, this promotion from within, too. Somebody getting charged, maybe, you know getting charged for um for a payment that wasn't received is what I'm hearing. So it's a lot of work gossip. You know, not you know, not just because you know somebody is late, you know, but whoever this person is, you know, the reason why I feel like it's this woman trying to, you know, create a, a different type of peaceful environment amongst her coworkers because of, of, of the staff, right? Because of the staff, or this could be this woman, you know, um, letting some, um, letting her, uh, title get ahead of her. She's a little headstrong, kind of a little attitude, you know, a little bit, but not really though. Not really. She has a, a very peaceful disposition and, she, you know, she just matches energy. I'm seeing whoever this is that's determined to um, 
who's determined to um be a couple. <laughs> they want to be a couple with you. You know, they they want to be your boyfriend. They want to be your girlfriend. It's this could have something to do with um couples working in in the boss or the supervisor or the managers. You know, feeling like y'all not getting your job done. But I'm also seeing there is a question of paternity. You know. When it comes to this Lake Minnetonka diving and and, the, and and somebody getting pregnant and, you know, um, I feel like somebody had just had a baby. I feel like somebody just had a baby. But right now, somebody, you know, missed their period. And you took a picture with your friend. Whoever this man is, you know what I'm saying? It's like he's trying to, he's trying to make you his woman. The last page is like he turned out or some shit. You could be thinking about, you know, getting in a relationship with somebody else. This Gemini. I'm feeling like whoever this woman is too, that she, you know, she's been abused in her life, in her relationships. It's something when it comes to how, you know, this woman is reacting to um, this missed period. She may, she may want to get an abortion, is what I just heard. Let's see what's going on. Somebody's scattering their energy, though. Yeah, somebody's scattering their energy. I feel like, you know, it's whoever this drug dealer is. Yeah, it's whoever this drug dealer is. They can be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, you know. This person also could, you know, put you up on a on, on a different game too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when it comes, especially, I feel like this person, you know, is trying to get you to uh hustle for them. Maybe hustle for them up out of the gas station. Don't you do that shit? Mm -mm. You about to get a bonus. You don't need to, you know, dip and dab in no street pharmaceuticals, boo. But I'm seeing this late. You being late, although you 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 good at what it is that you do, um, have a very lovely disposition is what I'm hearing, and your customers like you. You know the daily beat they come in there, y'all have a good you know conversation, whatnot. But I'm seeing this couples working together as well. Um, I'm seeing this man may not you know get a promotion or this woman take it where it resonates. It, and it, you know, is mainly because um, they're immature is what I'm hearing. They don't know how to talk to people. They've had a lot of complaints. There's a lot of friends who come in and out of this um, gas station is what I'm hearing. And it's like you never working because you having fun and shit. Somebody, you know, this may be their part-time job or they full-time take it where it resonates. But, you know, I think... You know, they, they do some home health care or they may be an STNA, this woman. They love what they do, you know, but it's like a click, you know, it's a click. And whoever this lead is, this lead, this lead is the one who wants some bullshit. It's like they're not even communicating with you on the level that they used to. You know, they're keeping it strictly business. It's a lot of petty energy, you know what I'm saying? And and yet, yeah, Jesus saying somebody is always late. Whoever it could be, this Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, don't have to be. It could be this Gemini as well. But somebody feel like you know there's no teamwork. They complaining. They are they 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 are they are complaining. And you know they complaining because I feel like y'all up for the same position or something. So they creating some obstacles. This person could be younger than you, but like I said, they they immature. This could be you know. This is the per. This is the senior, you know, the person in charge, the person who trained you, the trainer. You know what I'm saying? And it's been some negotiations with a position or something. You could, you could be the one who's trying to, you know, be the supervisor or the manager. You know, but it's like you got to be patient or the assistant. You know, it's like you. It's like they. This person be cutting you off, snappy. You know the way they. You know try to uh, do their advanced directors and shit and, and have you execute your job position. It's the way that they ask you to do something is what I'm hearing. They're, they're, it's like a dictatorship. Yeah, this may be your second job is what I'm seeing. This may be your second job. So let's see what's good with this sex magic first. Don't you want to know? 
Could it be the last person you had sex with or the person that you think about scoring? Because you took a picture with somebody. You know what I'm saying? You did. You took a picture with somebody and you sent it or you, you're about to. Sent it to somebody who who be masturbating to photos and doing sex magic and shit, trying to p make people go against their view. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I start asking motherfuckers who sent you. <laughs> Yeah, and and whoever it is, I'm I'm hearing something about this. It could be this Gemini. You could have lost faith in this connection and shit. This could be somebody you know that you had um a child with. This could be somebody that you had a child with. This could be the last person you had sex with. You know what I'm saying? You you had sex with your your child's father or something or your child's mother. Take it how it resonates, yo, and. It's somebody um, who was digging this person. You, you hear me? They might. It might be their new relationship, their new lover. And this person is in, heavy into magic. Hmm. What's what is this? Masturbating while chanting to your photos. Hmm. That's. <sighs> That could be somebody who is not working is what I'm hearing. That could be this this Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy with this special ability is what the Jesus is saying. You see that? That's the sex magic. Masturbating to your photo. Is that the manager? Is that? Hmm. It's like, you know, they got this petty ass energy towards you and they always trying to correct you. Even when you're trying to do your best, you know, you could be like two minutes late and they still on your ass. On oh, ass is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this big time drug dealer could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's something, you know, they could be trying to get you to rob the joint or some shit like that. Or and I'm hearing, you know, this 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 is coupled with this um laziness too. You know what I'm saying? With this with this person who feels as though they need to give you all the work and just sit back and watch is what I'm hearing. This is somebody who sit back and you know just watch, be in a phone or outside or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But somebody trying to distract you. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody trying to distract you. Hmm. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Somebody is trying to distract you. Somebody trying to hold you back. Somebody trying to stop you in your tracks. Okay? They trying to... They trying to make problems at your job. This is somebody you know who don't care how they act out in public. This is somebody who's in who, who you may be in love with, who in love with you. Somebody you know you try to um, compromise with this person, you know. But I'm seeing this Lake Minnetonka in the spring, you know. I heard somebody may be you know physically abused. This woman may, may have gone through some domestic violence with this man, you know. Yeah, look at the bottom with this man. So he about to try to do the fool with his temperance card, you know, he he all up in his head. You know, I'm 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 hearing, you know, too. There, this is the this is the one who has this special ability and, and is very enlightened. It could be it could be the both of you. You I, I mean, you know, y'all could have learned and climbed up this spiritual ladder together, is what I'm hearing. Yep. The will of luck. The will of luck is what I heard. The will of luck. The will of fortune. That's fire energy as well. This is somebody from some from someone's past. Right? The, ener the energy always taking um, a swift turn. And now that you know you've leveled up in yours, you out here seeking truth. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to walk a chalk line. I feel like, you know... You know that this person is a karmic lesson. This is a part of your, you know, your karmic debt, and you feel like you didn't already pay that, didn't pay that debt, right? And you know, we we do, we do sometimes, you know, get weak. That's what this three of pentacles is about. You know, there were some weak moments, um, feeling as though, you know, 
with this page of wands reversed that someone was, you know, a little distracted by some trickster energy. And that's this masturbating shit. You hear me? That's this masturbating shit. And also, too, you know what I'm hearing? That, you know, the way that, you, that somebody feels about this person who is masturbating, that is a facade because it's a form of magic. And, you know, this person likes to use sex as a weapon, so that's why, you know, they keep trying to get in your pants. That's why they keep trying to get in your pants. Too much spirit. And for the love of money, somebody working hard, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they got to take care of their kids. Whoever this man is, too, you know, he, he feel like he ain't got to put in on this man, but he want to put in, he want to put it in you, you know what I'm saying? But he's not helping you do what's necessary to take care of your child or your children. You're not being responsible. All oh, this person want to do is, you know, hunch. Oh, dang, spirit. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, Who is this person? You could be dealing with somebody at your job. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, the person that you date and brings you lunch, you know, or comes up to your job to make sure that you're okay or could sit with you or something. Yeah. So this person is using divination, too. You hear me? This person is using divination. Mmm. Eight of Pentacles. Yep, at your work. It's like this person is going to come and try to cause a scene. This person is going to, you know, this could be this uh this deadbeat uh, father or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Could come in here and try to rob the joint. Yeah, look, try to rob the joint. And, you know, whoever this woman is, she's a part of management. It, it, it's making me uh, think about set it off. Frankie want to blow up the bank. Mmm. And this is somebody young too, whoever this uh this um earth energy is. It's what they've been trying to manifest though, is what I'm seeing. What it is they've been trying to manifest. It's gonna be towards like late night hours or closing. So look, I'm seeing there was a pregnancy. Somebody could have got abortion. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, somebody got an abortion. This is a young lady. Somebody's child got an abortion. You know, and, and the child's father who don't do nothing for the child is about to try to, you know, come try to check his hand. But it's like it's some scantless ass behavior that this man has. <laughs> really and truly. Really and truly. He planning on running up in there and laying everybody down at this gas station. So, this is a youngin. This Gemini, somebody, you know, works far away from their neighborhood. And within their travels, you know, and within them, you know, being, you know, outside of their neighborhood, they link with somebody else. So they work third shift. They work with somebody who, you know, doesn't practice good hygiene at all, you know. And look at this shit here. Somebody who just maybe dyed their hair. I said something about fuchsia earlier. Somebody who maybe had just dyed their hair. So it's somebody who's very hairy who's going to be on the drama. This can be this man, this big time drug dealer. Or either this um this this dead beat is what the Jesus is saying. It could be, you know, that they yo yo uh somebody's child's father coming to their job while they new boo is there. 
Yeah. And it'd be a, a big old mix up. But this is how shit's supposed to play out. This is how it all supposed to play out. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Somebody could be a Cancer energy as well. And it's like whoever this man is, he he be watching. He be watching. Yeah, he be watching. And he got somebody who watching. Then I'm hearing, you know, you could work first shift or third shift and your and your workmate, the one that you dating, could work first or third. Take that how it resonates. But somebody coming to work early so they can be with their boo. I'm hearing, you know, some woman is having some complications. She went to some third world country and got some um, type of plastic surgery. But this man, he in love. He feeling like he was played for a fool. He could be faithful, couldn't be, you know, he could be faithful. Um, but I'm saying it's a question, you know, of who would I choose? Who would I choose? Somebody could be leaving, you know, a karmic relationship because they met, they, they twin flame. Ooh, I was just about to say, as a woman, you got to diffuse the situation. Then I see actual age. Don't flip out. You know what I'm saying? You got to do some problem resolution. Because I feel like, you know, whoever this person is who been masturbating to your photos, they, they using cars, they using tarot. You know what I'm saying? And they lighting candles, you know, against you. And they masturbate and, and it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. It's not it's not working, is what the Jesus is saying. It's something about winter fall or snowfall that can be your your favorite um show or something, something that y'all watch. It's a Capricorn involved too. Somebody feel like you know they finally met they mate, the one that you know get them, the one you know who understands them, the one you know that you know they don't they don't want to take this relationship for granted and they want to work on it because they feel like they met their twin flame. You hear me? And whoever, you know, this man is coming up to this gas station, he gonna fuck around and get dealt with harshly. This is a harsh spiritual lesson for him because he shouldn't have tampered with spiritual laws. Or if this this woman, this you know, she gonna get dealt with harshly because somebody getting their ass whooped. Period. Because this is karma. You don't know, play with people. Because you know, you already know who they are. You know they touched by an angel is what I just heard. <laughs> yeah, somebody's friend. Two, 